this, this process, this multi-stakeholder process, the, the process that the internet community has pioneered in many ways, I think works based on the fact that people have things they need to do together. Uh, it doesn't really work when one person tells someone else what to do. That's kind of the Marx command and control model. What works about the internet model is when people realize they have common things they need to get done. I think that the trade issues that we're looking at, looking at whether it's with the TPP or, or uh, uh, questions, uh, discussions that we're having with, with the European uh, Commission about, about consumer privacy or any number of other issues, these are issues where we as a global community all have to be able to work together. We have to have a set of rules that we can operate under. And I think it's that, it's, it's, those, it's those cases where, as everyone has said, if we've agreed on one thing, it's that we don't actually have any other model. Uh, uh, we might like to think we do. Uh, people who want, uh, you know, to build larger buildings in Geneva or fill existing ones, uh, uh, you know, might might like to do something else for those reasons. But it's very clear that this is this is the the, the one method that we have, the the one organizing principle we have to solve the problems that we have in the internet environment. Um, there will be some companies, countries, sorry, that 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 often make that flip. Uh, there will be in, in the internet world. There will be some countries that will decide they're not sure how engaged they want to be. And, and, and I think those are always kind of the trick questions about the multi-stakeholder process. Well, how are you going to get so-and-so involved? And why would so-and-so be involved? And uh, not, to, not to make light of any of those questions, um, I don't think that's where we should actually be focusing our attention. I think where our attention belongs is on uh, um, uh, actually building the, the global interoperability mechanisms, whether it's for the free flow of information with, with in the trade context, whether it's for uh, um, fundamental human rights uh, in the online environment, whether it's for privacy uh, uh, in the online environment. These are things that we have to work out. Uh, they are right in front of us. And over the next couple of years, we'll, we'll either do it well or not so well. Uh, and, and, and that will be, I think, the test of, of how well these principles are working.